All right. And we are now live. Hi, guys. Guys, can you hear us over on YouTube? Just want to make sure that everything is working correctly. Hi guys, sorry, we're hey, like everyone. not talking. Uh, okay, folks on YouTube, want to make sure that, oh no, it says they're live on Insta, but not on here. So is the camera not working? Um, hmm. Guys on YouTube, can you hear us or no? Well, Clinton said, there they are. Okay. So, um, hi to TikTok, hi to Instagram, and hi to YouTube. We're trying something new tonight with YouTube. So, okay, everyone's saying yes over on YouTube. Good. Can you see us on YouTube? And hear us okay. Um, we have a new camera, so we're not using our computer. So, we have our computer, but we also have, like, a, a camera. Um, yeah. Okay, so let us know if you can't see or hear us. Yes, so guys, if you're joining us on YouTube, you may be used to our like really bad computer camera that is like a horrible quality. It's like a 2.5 megapixel camera. But tonight we have um, a new camera. And so hopefully we're gonna go live from this from now on. It's much clearer and um, hopefully it looks better. Um, okay, so why don't we say hi to everybody? Hello, Devontae and Brandon and Josh and Amanda and Sapna and Clinton <clears throat> and Lane and James and Tony and Chris and Kyle and Glenn and Ted and Aranda. I think I said Amanda already. Hi, Sean. Um, other Thomas. Yeah, so hi, Elizabeth. Hello, Gerald. Hello, Kyle. Hello, Billy. Um, hi, everybody. Hi to Brazil. So uh, welcome, welcome to Vino and Vent, guys. Happy Sunday night. Welcome, everybody. For those of you that are new to Vino and Vent, basically, this is a place that we come to once a week and we go live with you guys. And we started this back on YouTube and we have created a lovely little family over on YouTube, but we have brought in Instagram and TikTok for these lives. And this is a place where we can all get together and catch up. That's right. So why don't we do our little cheers? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So whether you are drinking Cabernet, Pinot Noir, whiskey, meat, um, Sprite, or maybe even a Shirley Temple, or, you know, maybe you're into like herbal tea these days. Yes. Um, cheers to you. We made it through another week. Yes, we did. And what a what an exciting week it was. We um, are big Swifties, so we're definitely going to jump into that. I saw a few people on Instagram <laughs> talk about that already. Did they? But um, some Peter over Peter James on TikTok said Hogwarts houses. Um, what what was I? I think we were both. Um, I love. I would love to think that I was a Gryffindor, but I'm pretty sure I got a Hufflepuff. I don't remember what I got. I did the test. Yeah, we both it was, did once upon a time. I can't think of, I don't remember. Ooh, Jody said, hi guys, white wine here in Arkansas. Ooh. Yes. I just got finished working out at home and I am hot and sweaty. <laughs> Red. Well, Devante over on YouTube said that you look 22. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so I don't know about you, but PJ is feeling 22. Oh, thank you, Sapna. So, um, Sapna, we actually celebrated, I keep looking down, Sapna, we actually celebrated uh, Alan's birthday today. We celebrated it on his birthday, which was Wednesday, but we also celebrated with family today and had cake. So, thank you for that. He is nine years old. And then Sapna asks, is Lila happy to be out of the hospital? Yeah, and I see Thomas said, how's our Lila doing? Chris and Kyle's <clears throat> checking on Lila, so... Uh... My mom's name is Lila and she fell and broke her femur a couple of weeks ago. So thank you guys, first of all, for asking. So sweet. She's out of the hospital. Her sister drove down from Ohio 
to stay with her for the last week and they stayed at her little cottage <clears throat> and she was so happy to be home. They have a hospital bed in her. Congratulations, Jackson. That is awesome. That is <clears throat> wonderful. Um, they have a hospital bed in her office for her. So she's getting comfortable. However, her sister had to go back home today. So my brother came to get her and, uh, he took her to his and his wife's house where she will be, um, recovering for the next couple, uh, uh for the next week is when she'll, how long she'll be there. Uh oh, is it my phone or they keep freezing over on YouTube? Hold on. Still connected. Okay. No freezing here. Okay. okay. Thanks, Lane. So maybe your phone. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's uh, uh thanks, Gregory. <laughs> and um Michael okay. over on TikTok. Okay, so why don't we just jump into it? Jackson over on TikTok said thoughts on tortured poets. So why don't we talk about the tortured poets department? Um not a possessive poets, by the way. A lot of people, some people were up in arms and wondering why she didn't do an apostrophe S, um, but just the tortured poets department. Why don't you talk? Because... Well, I feel like this is like your time to shine. <laughs> it is our time to shine. You're a Swifty and you love I her. am. I'm a new Swifty and you have been <clears throat> an original Swifty, so I feel like this is your time to shine. Why don't we both do it? Okay, so upon first listen, here's the rundown, you guys. I'm just going to be honest. Upon first listen, I was like, this is not what I thought it was going to be, number one. I thought that all of the songs sounded the same. They all ran together. I couldn't find a hook that I associated with a particular song like I easily could on Midnight's. Um, like upon first listen to Midnight's, you hear like the burgundy of my t-shirt when you splash one, like, and then like Antihero is so catchy, of course. Like there were certain songs that immediately stood out to me on Midnight's. However, and we both said this, all the songs ran together upon first listen of the Tortured Poets Department. And they all kind of have the same tempo and they're all kind of, you know, melodically similar. But then, and also 31 tracks, um, overwhelming right off the bat. So overwhelming. And I, I still don't think I've listened to all of them. Like there's like between tracks, like 25, 26, 27, and 28. I don't think I've listened to all of those just yet. Um, okay. Uh, however, after the, we've been listening to it, that's all we've been listening to all weekend. I will say, I love this album now. I don't think it's a perfect album. And in my opinion, <clears throat> Midnight's was a perfect album. Same with 1989. Not with reputation, not with lover, um, but my mouth is getting dry. Um, it's not a perfect album, but I I think that there was no way that she could please everybody. You know, there was so much hype built up around this album, most of it created by her. And it was such a highly anticipated album that there's no way that everyone was going to be pleased. That being said, I do think some of the lyrics are... Amazing, my favorite song off of the album is Fortnite. I know that's cliche, it being the lead single. However, can I just say that historically, she has not been good with first singles. Lest we all forget, We Are Never Getting Back Together, not the best song off of Red. That was her lead single. Look What You Made Me Do was her lead single off of Reputation. One of the worst songs on that album. And then a follow-up with Ready For It, also not a great choice. And then Me as the lead single from Lover. Are you kidding me? No. So I do think she got it right this time, though. I think that Fortnite was a great choice for a lead single. It's catchy. I love the lyrics. I love um, how dark it is. It's really dark and moody. So love Fortnite. And then what are some of the songs that you love? Okay, so I, uh, I think Edwin put it so nicely on mm. TikTok. He said that I was um, a newborn Swifty. I would definitely say mm. yes to that. So you got your... Um, information from the, what would you call yourself? The resident Swifty. Okay. And I am a new Swifty. I really like the album. I did not like for my first listen through mm -hmm. everything ran together. It kind of, like you said, mm -hmm. we had talked about that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do love it. It might be my favorite album now that I've listened to it like five times <laughs> and 
my some of my favorite songs are yes. Down Bad. Um, is that out of the slammer or just slammer? Fresh out the slammer. Fresh out the slammer. I, I like think, that right? one a lot. Um, London, I like a lot. So long, London. So yeah. long, London. And then what else? I think you like because I do too. Guilty as sin. Guilty as sin. Is that the one where it's catchy? It has a hook, and I I, for, I forget it. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, there's a lot. I have a lot that I like. Someone asked if you draw on your eyebrows. He doesn't. They literally look like this, you guys. Someone else complimented your eyebrows earlier. He has the best eyebrows. Uh, okay, yes. Someone on Instagram, Shay Robinson said, who's afraid of little old me? You guys, that song is amazing. I love when she says, I put narcotics into all of my songs, like, which is why you're still singing along. Like, ah. Uh, and you know she wrote that was one of the I think there's two songs on the initial album that Ooh, she wrote by herself. And Florida. I also like Florida. Yeah, we have true. a we have a house in Florida, and yeah, I like it. Yes, love Florida. Um, Bye, Jim. See you next week. See you, Jim. Um, Claire Bow is my favorite song. So high school is great. That's the one where she's like, we stayed up on Saturday night watching American Pie or whatever. Is that right? I do love that song. The second half of the album is very like, I didn't look at the album notes before I did it, but I said, oh, this is very Aaron Dessner of her. And sure enough, the second half of the album is all produced and written by her and Aaron Dessner. Will said the Kim song. I love the shade. I do like that was funny. I like that song. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, uh, hi Dalton, thanks for joining. Thank you, yeah. Edwin. Hi Dalton, over on TikTok. Hi Edwin. Um, PJ's giving us run runway photo for whatever fashion show he did way back when. <laughs> uh, I know you look so cute with your haircut. Oh yeah, you got a haircut. We haven't um, done this since you got a haircut. Thank you guys. Um. So the all of, yeah still i will say still all of the tracks are running together for me but i still love them um i do love but uh daddy i love him i think it's hilarious when she says i'm having his baby and then she's like no i'm not but you should see your faces i think that she's having fun with the lyrics <coughs> excuse me so yeah oh oh you are clean shaven you got rid of your mustache tonight i did it earlier today are morning. you joking Oh, I always feel so bad when I don't notice that stuff, but I think that's just what comes with being together for 14 years. So yeah, right. sorry. <laughs> I like it though. I like your, your clean. I always like when you clean shape. Um, Edwin said, Thomas, your hair looks amazing too. Very Jacob Alordi. Ooh, thanks Edwin. Okay, Shane said, what's your thoughts on I Can Do It With A Broken Heart? So... I really like that song. I like when she's like, I cry a lot or no, I'm sad a lot or I cry a lot, but I'm still so productive. I think that that is great because she is single-handedly the most productive person on this planet. Um, I was reading the reviews and I was sad to see that that song specifically got horrible reviews and a lot of critics compared it to me and said the lyrics were cringe inducing, but I actually really like it. That's when it's like, na, 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 na. It's like very dancey. I can't think of that one. It's like towards the end of the first half of the album. I really like it though. There's, there's so far, there's not a song truly on the album that I've listened to that I don't like. I haven't familiarized myself enough with Love of My Life or L L O M L. Um, Thank you, Bulldog. <laughs> Clinton said. Vino Invent, Taylor's version. Yeah, that should be the name of this one. Y'all should have known. If you weren't prepared for this, yeah. you don't know Thomas well enough. Or PJ well enough now. Mm. No, you're the one that, I mean, as soon as he, we listened to it, after the second time, he was like, oh, this is my favorite. Well, I'm just album. saying, like, if it were up to me, I probably would have, like, said I liked the album. It was good. Listened mm -hmm. four songs, and then we'd be moving on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but Well... Thomas loves some Taylor. I do too, but he's very passionate about some Tay Tay. Yeah, I do love Taylor. We received a PR package for her Eras tour that premiered on Disney Plus last month. And I 
secretly pretended it was from her, even though it wasn't from her, it was from Disney. But I like to think that she sent it to us. Um, <laughs> over on TikTok, Josh said, any garden plans? So I don't know if you are meaning like vegetable garden plans or like landscaping plans, but we actually have plans for both things. We're going to do like a little uh, mini garden, vegetable garden this year with maybe just some tomatoes and small things like that. Um, and then we are planning out, we haven't, we haven't actually started the planning part, part of it, but we have a farmhouse that we are renovating. We've been renovating for three years. It's almost finished mm -hmm. and um, we're going to be landscaping that probably this summer or maybe fall, not hundred percent sure, but yes. So we do have some garden plans. I'm really getting, I got another compliment about my eyebrows. Guys, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's different about I them tonight. I think they're like more noticeable because you're clean shaven. Mm. Um, I, yeah, they look so good. How's the beach shack so going? Um, so Mario, thank you for that question. If you were on our last Vino event, you found out. So we, just for those of you that don't know what we're talking about. Two years ago, we bought two beach shacks that are really close, like within walking distance to the beach. They have deeded access to the beach. And they were like complete guts. We bought two thinking that we were going to renovate both of them and then turn them into short-term rentals. But then we renovated one and then kind of got cold feet because of hurricane season. And then we listed both of them. <laughs> and mm -hmm. we are currently under contract on selling one of them. And it is a pretty much, it's a cash deal. It's a, probably a solid deal. And it's supposed to close in June. Now we've kind of been rethinking about maybe we keep the other one, the one that, so we did end up fixing up one house and it's like basically finished. There's yeah. a few things that need to be done like paint and mm -hmm. stuff like we need to buy kitchen appliances and a washer and dryer. But other than mm -hmm. that, it's finished. But now we're thinking maybe we keep that one. I don't know. We'll keep you updated. But as of maybe, as far as the one that is under contract, it looks like it is most likely going to close. Um, they put a really hefty, earnest money check down and it was a um i'm blanking on the word non-refundable so no matter what happens yeah if they walk away they lose the money and it's like fifty thousand dollars so i can't imagine that anyone would walk away and right and just forfeit that much money but who knows if they do that's fine with me too because that's money in the bank but hopefully they don't Someone said shout out from Dothan, Alabama. Ooh, we actually drive through Dothan yeah. to get to our beach shack. So we go, um, our beach shack is in West Panama City Beach. And so we go through Dothan. That's right. We do. Uh, night, someone asked 1989 versus tur Tortured Poets. Mm. Oh, that's hard because 1989 is just so classic. I, I would say 1989. And I would say Tortured Poets. But 1989 has Out of the Woods. It has... Um, How many songs total, though? I bet it ain't got 31. No, but does any album... <clears throat> it has Blank Space. It has Style. It has Welcome to New York. It has Gregory, You Are in Love. Gregory said there are no skips on 1989. Okay, Greg, you're right. However, beg to kind of differ. Um, this Love... I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it. How does that one go? Because it's probably one of my favorites. This love is good. Yeah, this I like love that one. is good. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think it's so boring. It's so slow. The only part I like of that song is the end, where it's like, "This, this love." Did we not say what we're drinking? Uh, Somebody um, on TikTok just asked. Oh, well, we are drinking our favorite red, Josh. Josh. We love a good mm -hmm. Josh cab. Mm -hmm. Favorite mm -hmm. track from TTPD. So Gianni on Instagram said, mine is Fortnite. Hi, Martin. Welcome to Vino and Vent. Hello, Martin from Latvia. Dream car. Hmm. My dream car is uh, Sequoia. Toyota Sequoia. Capstone. So I, I'm driving my dream car, I would say. Yeah. And then for you, it would be, I don't know. I mean, in this phase. Maybe, maybe the, 
honestly, maybe the 2020 Land Cruiser that we just have. For me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. I or, the, love that or, or maybe the Sequoia. I don't know. Yeah, the we're, Sequoia checks all the boxes. We're a Toyota family. We are. Abigail um, said, no way. Do y'all have a Sequoia? So, Abigail, we don't have a Sequoia. But the new Sequoias, like the 2024s, the Capstone trim, I love. And so... Hey, Kenneth over on YouTube. He asked how the kids are. The kids are doing great. They are doing great. Um, they are in bed currently. I don't know if they're asleep. I hope they are because they have testing in the morning. Um, yeah. So they're good though. They're really good. <laughs> Brian said drinking question mark. You boys have school in the morning. Yeah. I know. That's why I think we're going to stick to one glass tonight. Um, we stayed up kind of late last night. And um, yeah, it was a late night. And so we're, I was, we were both like very tired this morning. I think we both took naps today. Um, so yeah. Um, Peter said, any trips to NYC planned? Um so we do actually have a possible trip coming up in either May or June mm -hmm. where we'd be going there. It's not confirmed yet, but there's a possibility we mm -hmm. end of May or sometime in June. Mm -hmm. Mario said a real nap or naps with a wink face. <laughs> this no. was a real nap today. A real nap. I was actually in our bedroom and he was in the cow on the couch in the, office so yeah it was a real nap we were really tired billy agreed and he said he loves his toyota chris and kyle said when are the kids out of school for their summer so um <clears throat> they get out of school at the end of may however we might be doing summer school for one of our kids not 100 percent sure yet <clears throat> which would extend the school year for him until the end of june um, can I just say that I actually don't know. I mean, I like the cam the nicer camera on YouTube, but it's like really uh clear. <laughs> and I'm like noticing every little imperfection. Uh I think that Instagram and TikTok both put a filter of some kind on their lives to make you think you look a little different than you do. Okay, Tristan, there you are. Tristan is uh here on TikTok. He said, what do you think of Taylor's new album? Tristan, you were late. You can't be this late because we have already talked about the Torture Poets Department. So you're going to have to go back and watch our YouTube Vino you know, Invent if you want to hear it. JC, I shaved it off this morning. Um, yeah. Um, are you, how do you pronounce that? Chaparral fans? Where? It's the girl. Oh, Chapel Roan. Chapel Roan. We are uh, newbies. We just yeah. started listening listening to her about a week ago. Yeah. And her song Casual is was mm. all I listened to last week at the gym. I just listened on repeat over and over and over. If you haven't heard it, it is so good. So good. PJ, what year is your Tundra? Do you like Before the Body Style Change? Okay, so I have the new body style. I have a 2023 Tundra. So far, I really like it. There have already been two recalls on it that I'm not that excited about. They're like minor things that were easy fixes, but to me, that's not a great sign. But it's not. I do love it. It's so spacious. It feels like a tank when you're in it. You feel very safe. And after my accident this last summer, I had a Tacoma before. And after that accident, having something that's bigger feels safer to me. So I don't know. I like yeah. it. I mean, you can't go wrong with Toyota. The Tacoma really did protect you, though. I really think it saved your life because you can look at the outside of his truck. He got in a wreck last summer and it was just like mangled. But like the cabin was in perfect condition. It was like, you know, the the whole just the whole cabin was not crushed at all. And it saved him. And, so we're grateful for his Tacoma, but it needed to be, we needed a bigger truck. Okay. So here's a question over on TikTok. Which interior design style do you prefer? Maximalism or minimalism? You go first. Well, 
in our house currently, we are maxed out. <laughs> so that answers that. I probably would be mentally in a better place if I if we were more of a millennium. Me, 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 we're not me, millennial. Me. Or, or no, are you a millennial? I think we both are actually. I need I need less in my life. I think there's just so much, but I don't know. It to create a cozy vibe, I feel like we like to put things on shelves everywhere. Yeah. So I don't know. We definitely are maxed out, but I could minimize. I think you're conflicted because like you like the feeling of coziness that a little things have. Like I'm looking at our kitchen right now, and in one corner of our kitchen, we have a coffee maker. Um, an echo show, a huge plant, a bowl, and then like a million papers and bills and files. Bye, Sean. Thanks for coming over. Bye, Sean. And it just creates like a feeling of home. And But I think that you, you like the coziness that you get with maximalism, but you ultimately like minimalism. <clears throat> okay. Tristan said, can you please give me a rating out of 10 for... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it'd be a 10 for me. I would say a 9 out of 10. For Taylor's new album, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Jacob said, would either of you ever do a show like Big Brother slash Survivor slash Amazing Race if given the opportunity? I don't think so. I, I would do it, yeah. Would you? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't like, I, get, I hate competing. I would want to do, of those shows, I'd want to do, um, Amazing Race would be too stressful for me. Yeah. It would probably have to be Survivor. The problem is I was a big survivor fan for one season <laughs> and then I never watched it again. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be very good on it. Yeah. But you're pretty strategic. Yeah. That seems like the show for me, if I was going to do one. Um, so Sopna said, will holiday house become your minimalist home? That is the plan Sopna. Mm -hmm. So there's two reasons why I think that it would. Yeah. One is it's not going to be our full-time house. Mm -hmm. Two, it may be a rental. It may be like a short-term rental. We've not really talked about it, but I would like to have it to where we don't have all of like personal items and like the drawers. And I see whenever my vision is that when we go to Holiday House, we're going to pack a bag and we're going to take it like we're going on a trip. Mm. And then that way, if we wanted to rent it out, we could do like a short-term rental. Yeah, it is going to be very minimalist in, as far as like design and everything that's in it. We're not going to have like in my, in this corner of the kitchen we have we have cookbooks on the counter, we have a lamp, we have uh, Lazy Susan. So it's it's not going to be like stuffed like this house is because I do love the vibe of our house, but our, we both really want a holiday house to have a different vibe. Yeah. Um. Glenn said, that's Dixie's <clears throat> land. So Dixie is a, my mm. best friend and she lives on the farm and takes care of the animals. That is her compound. Yeah. She like rolls the roost, as yes. you would say. Yes. If you had to choose for vacation, Greece or Spain. Um, we've been to Spain. I I'd say Greece. We haven't never been. We've never been to Greece, so I'd say Greece. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Would you be down to adopt to adopt me? I'm only 23, so it's cool. <laughs> we were talking about possibly adding a fourth child, so maybe. <laughs> I don't know if you can count 23 as a child. Um where did you go to Spain? I just got back from there. So We've been to Barcelona. Have we been mm -hmm. anywhere else? No, we've been to Barcelona twice. Yeah. For very short. I think both times it was only for like a night. But we did make sure to roam around the city one of the times and walk. And it was really fun. We met a new friend there. It was really sweet. We got to visit. He's a, a fashion designer. We got to visit his shop and talk with one of his, he and his coworker. And they explained to us all about these the different exciting things you're doing. And it was one of those like really fun random nights that probably could never happen again, but it was just like a magical little Barcelona mm -hmm. night. Um, Thomas, question for you. How far are you guys from Nashville? Why is that a question for me? <laughs> Where does it say that? Oh, <laughs> um, we are two and a half hours from Nashville. 
Elizabeth on TikTok said, what is your dream vacation? Huh. My dream vacation. Actually, we kind of did my dream vacation a couple years ago, to be honest. We went to, it was with our family, and we went to Colorado. And the reason it was my dream vacation is because there were like 16 of us, and we all stayed in a big house, and it was snowing, and it was like, we went out to eat every night, and we went skiing, and it was just a ton of fun. But what is yeah. yours? So that was that was one of my most favorite vacation memories. Yeah. I don't know what my dream, maybe going to like New Zealand. I think that could be mm -hmm. like a really fun, it's a place that I'd love to go. I cannot imagine if I could just like snap my finger and be there, that'd be great because otherwise <laughs> it's going to be like 26 to 33 hour trip to get there. And I don't actually see myself actually going through with that. So, yeah, I don't know how you would make it. Um, would you do Rock the Block? I would definitely do Rock the Block. I would do that. That would be a yeah. fun show. Mm -hmm. um, John said, how are the goats? Well, John, those... Josh. Oh, Josh, sorry. <laughs> you both got it wrong. <laughs> okay, well, I can't be a sassy now. <laughs> right. They're actually sheep. <laughs> I can't be a but sassy thank you. now. I would love to see Sassy PJ. Um, we have sheep. We have Katahdin mixed with a Mufflin. Um, they're a hair sheep. And we bought them as pets, but we have about uh, 54. And the purpose is for them to like keep our pasture manicured as much as possible so that mm -hmm. I don't have to bush hog it. Mm -hmm. And they do a really good job. However, in the, like in about a month and a half, well, actually in about a month, the grass will start growing so fast that they won't be able to keep up, but they're able to keep it manicured from um, late fall through like early <clears throat> summer ish. Someone asked about why one of us is in a sweater and the other is in a t-shirt. And I'm in a t-shirt and I'm sweating. So I don't know no, how you're I'm, in that. I'm pretty warm. It was actually really cold, cold today. It was like in the 50s all day, which is weird because it's been in the 80s, late 70s and 80s. Uh, late 70s, high 70s and 80s. Late 70s. <laughs> I was like, no, that's right. <laughs> that's one glass of wine is why you thought it was right. Um, yeah, and so it was cold. I wore this today and it was cold today, but now it's definitely not cold. It's kind of hot in here. Clinton said PJ is always hot. Yes. So y'all always give me shit about not having a shirt on, but like my pits are sweating right now. I don't know if you can see it, but I am constantly on fire. So I like mm -hmm. to be shirtless at all times if possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And our, our middle son is the exact same way. As soon as he gets home from school, he takes his shirt off and he could just like live in his shorts all day if he wanted to. And, and PJ is the exact same way. They're just, that's just how they're comfortable. Pablo said, nobody is complaining. Actually, Pablo, the amount of people that complain about me not having a shirt on is very, <laughs> very loud and clear. <laughs> I know. I'm like, guys, it's not a big deal. But it's not. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we actually made a YouTube video about that at one time. And it was like, why is PJ always shirtless? Because Why I, PJ is always shirtless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I'll say it again. It's my house. If I want to be shirtless in it, I will be. Speaking of YouTube, we didn't do a YouTube vlog this week. We finally finished out all of our Disney vlogs. And we've been kind of filming for YouTube vlog. Um... Gosh, this week we just were not motivated, you guys. And I know it sounds uh, easy because all you have to do is press record. Well, actually, guys, let's talk it. Let's especially like this is specifically for YouTube because you are our you are our family and our our vlog family that come yes. back to see it. What do you guys want to see? We've done so many different types of videos. We've done vlogs and Q and As and couple challenges what what's something that y'all would like to see um yeah. we plan on vlogging still but we're trying to think outside of the box to see what 
what we should be doing. How is the beach house coming along? So basically it's finished, the one that we're keep, maybe keeping. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have one under contract to be sold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so excited about that, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, someone over on TikTok, and we get this question every time we go live or we talk about it every time. Someone said, would you guys ever move to a bigger house than you're in now? And we found a house, you guys. I think we talked about it last time. I don't know if we did. We not. There's a dream home for us <clears throat> here in town. It's not even for sale, but no one lives there. And so it's empty and it's on like acreage in the middle of town. It is this old, um, kind of big, but we would have plans to add on like, colonial home brick it's just absolutely gorgeous the land that it's on is beautiful much bigger than the land we're on now in the middle of town we have no yard and that is our dream home we would love to uh settle down there so i don't know we're happy here the thing is we're happy we love our house we're happy here but we uh we're feeling like we're outgrowing it already and our kids are only nine seven and six so I don't know. We the answer is if we found a bigger house and it was the right land, yeah, we would definitely consider moving. Yeah. I don't know if the farm is a good fit just because it's about 25 minutes from all of the places that we need to be and it'd be a drive for the kids school and yeah. So, I don't know. Our cat is on <gasps> He's about to jump on my lap. No, Alistair. God. Uh, you are such a little pooper. Why are you wet? He feels wet. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. We would. We would. We have some really fun answers coming in on YouTube. So guys, we'll we'll go back through these. Oh, um I like softness. You said cooking always gets a vote for me. We give you five ingredients. You make something with them. Like oh, that. yeah, that would. Lila and Lori plus any, any other relative would be yeah. this. See, I said I would love to do a Q and A with our moms, if if not just like for us to have to look back on later in the future. More renovation stuff. I saw a few things about like farm content, which is great because we're going to be there this summer. So yeah, I think we're all on the same page. Yeah. Um, for YouTube, I'd love to know more about anything related to design, new house, at the farm, any flips. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. So I definitely think we're going to have a ton of farm content this summer. That'll yes. be fun. Yes. Um, maybe we'll um, introduce you to more of the animals that we have out there. And yeah. For sure, we're going to be doing a house tour when it's completely finished. So that'll be fun. We'll be showing you. We've actually been filming um, renovation content for that house for three years. And a lot of the content that we shot for it, we have not posted yet. And so hopefully we'll be able to like put all that together and show you a complete renovation of the farmhouse. That could take a while. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So we're about six minutes out. So why don't we talk about what we are binging or watching right now? And, um, yeah. Um, so I think we talked about it last week, but we're watching Mary and George. It's pretty good. We finished since we had to get, okay, he loves, you're so good. Cause I shaved today. Uh, because we, we got stars to watch Mary and George. We've been watching Serpent Queen which we loved, we finished that. And then, I mean, really, we're not really watching anything else. We, we, I'm watching Palm Royale, which I love. But other than that, this is kind of like a, we're kind of in a slog with TV right now. Are you guys watching anything that we should definitely watch? I'm gonna be honest, we're not into reality TV shows that much. So keep that in mind if you wanna recommend something. Our friends are always trying to get us to watch reality TV and we just don't. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know why. We're just not big reality TV fans. Uh, Medikai on Netflix. Three Body Problem. We did watch that. Yeah. Bridgerton, we watched that. 
Okay, the bear. So we started that. We started that, and then it was so stressful to watch that we we only watched the first like two episodes or three episodes. So three identical strangers on Netflix. Um, that's an old one, right? About the wrestlers and the we yeah we watched that one. It was a documentary years ago. Mm. Uh, okay, Baby Reindeer. Everyone's talking about that. Should we start Baby Reindeer? My mom watched What's it. Loved it. Netflix. Hmm. It's, an, it's a brand new show. It's a Netflix original. Um, so yeah, a lot of people. Okay, Laura said what, she's watching A Gentleman in Mo Moscow and it's so good. I've been wanting to watch that. Yeah, so um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched that. I'm pretty sure we watched that. It's, and they, they're, it's like they they wrestled in high school and they became like a phenomenon in the 70s or 80s. Um, Andre over on Instagram asked for our cat's name. His name is Alistair because we found him in Alice Beach, Florida. Um, we had the question on TikTok if we were dating. We're actually married. We've been together for 14 years. But we still date, of course. We have You have to date your spouse. Hello from Egypt. I love you guys. Oh, cool. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Okay, Alistair, I'm gonna have to get you. Get you off, sweet boy. All right, say goodbye. Look at him. He's so big. All right, come on, baby. Um, somebody said, what is your backsplash made out of? And it's actually just paint. So our countertops are black. They're black granite that are uh, honed, so they look kind of like soapstone. And then we did um, tricorn black paint on the in the flat paint for the back. Jocelyn, he does shed a lot. Yeah, he's through a phase of shade shedding right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Over on TikTok, Glenn, you're funny. He said, "Actually, it's actually a fireplace." <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like a little inside joke at this point between. The regular, you know, vendors. Edwin said sugar starring oh, Colin Farrell. Is that good? Yeah, I was I was wondering about that because I've seen it um, being advertised on Apple TV Plus. I'm I swear, Apple TV Plus, you guys don't sleep on it. It is so good. I love all of the shows they have on there. Um, Dan Miller said, if you guys had to create a nonprofit organization, what would the cause be? Um, I would say either something dealing with foster care or mm -hmm. something dealing with um, maybe like trying to help teens. LGBTQ youth. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking that as well because um, there are so many. Oh, this is a fun story that we'll end on. Um, so in the last like few weeks, we've connected with someone who was younger and early 20s. And they are um, newly dating someone. Yeah. And he and his, uh, he and the guy that he's dating are both some, I would say somewhat closeted. They mm -hmm. have told a few people, but they're kind of navigating that um, part of life. And it's been kind of fun for us to kind of witness that and, and remember back when we were in that same position years ago and how it seems like almost impossible to come out and how is my mom going to take it and how is my family going to take it and just hearing them talk about that and kind of being like mentors hopefully for them mm -hmm. has been a fun thing but um yeah it has yeah it is it, it's because i mean if you've been out for a while so like i've been out for 14 years you've been out for gosh, 18 years. And for, for, you know, if you've been out for a while, it really is easy to take it for granted because it's just like, it's like breeding. It's like your everyday life. Like, of course, m you know, mom, my mom is going to come over for dinner. Or like his mom is going to call me and we're going to talk about something. Like, it's just, it's, it's like our everyday. So it's easy to forget that like, mm, especially people who are just coming out, like are in a whole different place in life and a whole different like their reality is so different than, you know, what we experience every day. And so talking to him, like you said, it really almost has like a nostalgic feeling mm -hmm. to it. Cause we're like, Oh, we did the same thing. And like, I remember being so nervous <clears throat> telling my mom about PJ, but 
I came out to everyone because like for, because of PJ, like he inspired me to come out, never pressuring me or trying to make me do anything that I didn't want to do. But I, I was so just like proud to be with him and like proud to call him my boyfriend that I was like, I, why would I want, why would I want to hide this? I want everyone to know that we're together and that we're in love. Sorry. Our cat is eating food off of the kitchen. <gasps> Look, he's staring right at us. Like, yes, I know that I'm doing something naughty, but I'm going to keep doing oh. it. Alistair. Um, so naughty. And they're really cute. So one of them is a, yeah. like the guy that we first became friends with is like really into fitness and then the guy that he's dating is like a cowboy, cow farmer. Yeah. Um, so it's really cute. They're really cute. Yeah. They're a really sweet couple. It's one of those things. It's like opposites attract. And I love that. I love, I love when that is a success story because they couldn't be more different than mm -hmm. each other, but like they're united by their love. And like they've said how, you know, certain parts of one of them inspires the other to be better or work harder. And I feel like that's how it was for us. Like you inspired me to work harder like in life. And I showed you new music to listen to. <laughs> and, and how to communicate. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Too. Well guys, it is nine. I know we started a little bit late, but we were getting our new camera set up, but Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. For yeah. those of you that are new to Vino and Vent, we go live every Sunday and we have a cute little fun family of tons of people that come and join us. And it's so good to catch up with you guys. So um, thanks for joining and thanks for taking yes. time out of your week to spend it with us. Yes. And I hope you guys have a good week. We'll be posting on all the platforms. So we'll, yes. we'll, we'll stay in touch, but... If you want to come back next Sunday, we'll be here. We will. We will be here. So we hope you are too. All right. Bye, guys. Goodbye, everybody.